friends, this Reverend Elizabeth from St. John's Episcopal Church with you again. I'm just going to take my mask off. No one is in the church, so I think I'm safe. Today's Sunday School lesson is on Adam and Eve and the fall. Now, I have a question for you. Do you ever get tempted by something? Do you ever want to do something that you know you might not, uh, what you shouldn't really be doing? Um, sometimes it can be biking at night because it's dark and no one will be able to see you. Sometimes it's having a large snack before dinner because you might get full and you won't be able to eat a dinner that your parents or grandparents lovingly made. Now for me, I am tempted this time of year for certain things. Halloween is my downfall. I love chocolate. So whenever I see, especially around Christmas and Halloween and Easter, I get so excited and I am tempted to just eat handfuls and handfuls of chocolate. Now the problem with eating too much chocolate is that you can get cavities. And right now I have six. And so I have to go to the dentist and get them all filled. So that's what happens. Those are the consequences when you eat too much sugar. Temptation is something that we all have, that we all um, struggle with at times. And before I continue, does everyone know what temptation means? Temptation is something that we do when we really shouldn't be doing it. And often there are consequences. There's a, we can get in trouble. And, um, and so one of the things that we are going to talk today about and learn about is the temptation that Adam and Eve had in a garden and what the consequences were when they gave into temptation. Now the lesson is found in the first book of the Bible. Do you remember the name of the first book of the Bible? It's Genesis. Genesis is the first book in the Bible, and we will be looking at chapter 2. Last week, we learned about creation and how God created all things. He created the heavens and the earth and the stars and the planets and the plants and animals and rivers and oceans and even created you. And do you remember what he said after he created all of these things? He said, it was good. And when God created Adam and Eve, what do you think he said? It was good. God created all things for his purpose, that it would be good. Now, Adam and Eve, they were created and they were placed in a very special place in the Garden of Eden. And there, they were able to eat from any tree. They were able, they even walked around, they were naked. They didn't have to clothe themselves, and they didn't know they were naked, and they weren't embarrassed. Isn't that odd that that, that would happen? But in this place, in this special place, where it was all good, there was only one tree that God said, do not eat, or where you are not to eat any fruit from. And this is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now one day Adam and Eve were there in the garden and Eve was walking around and she saw the tree and a serpent went up to her and said, are you able to eat of all the trees? And Eve said, we can eat of any tree except for the tree of knowledge. And the serpent said, Well, if you eat from this tree of knowledge, you will be just like God and you will know 
good from evil, and you will know everything. And he thought that was a pretty good thing. And so she was tempted to eat the fruit, and she did. And she took a bite of the fruit, and she gave it to Alan, and both of their eyes were opened, and they saw the world in a different light. And then they realized they were naked, and so they ran, and they were, they, they were ashamed, and so they were hiding from God, and God said, God called for them. Adam and Eve, where are you? I can't see you. I can't find you. And they said, we are hiding. And God said, why are you hiding? And, he said, and they said, well, we're naked and we're embarrassed. And God said, who told you that? And they said, the serpent. And that was the clue where God knew that they had eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And so God was angry with them and he kicked them out of the garden and they were never to go back again. And so that was their consequence when they gave into temptation and to eating the fruit, the forbidden fruit. Now I'd like you to spend some time talking with your parents or friends what are some things that, that you have been tempted with? Maybe it was staying out late with friends when you were um, supposed to come in earlier, you broke your curfew. Maybe it was eating a large bowl of popcorn before dinner and you wouldn't be able to eat dinner. Those are some things to maybe talk about and think about what other things are you tempted with? And I would like you, if you are able, to go back to the story in Genesis. And you can begin by reading chapter 2. Now remember, the book of Genesis is which book of the Bible? The first book of the Bible. So turn to the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, and begin at chapter 2. You can also, and I will put this in um, the description part of the YouTube video, you can go to an online video called God's Story, The Fall. And so I'm curious to know what else you find in that story. What were some of the consequences that happened to um, Adam and Eve when they disobeyed God? And so let us end today's lesson in prayer. Lord, we know that sometimes we do things that we shouldn't do. Help us to resist temptation so that we may follow your teaching and your ways. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. And we will look forward for next week as we delve further into scripture into the Old Testament. Bye for now.